In this tutorial I want to show you how to insert an image into a post. I've told you that working with images in WordPress 2.7.1 is to enter the area where there are some of the most significant improvements in this latest version of WordPress. What you're enabled to do in WordPress 2.7.1 is to load your images directly into a media library file on your site rather than to load them up to a program like Flickr and then refer to the image uh, on Flickr. So here I'm signed into the Carver United Reformed Church dashboard. I'm in Add New Posts and I've created a post called It's Pentecost and what I want to do is to insert the image of the Holy Spirit that I downloaded earlier from guinea pig. My flashing cursor indicates the point at which I want the image to be inserted. Now at the moment the image resides in a file on my desktop and I'm going to get it out of there and put it into my site as follows. I go to Upload, Insert, Add an Image and click. You'll see that a preview pane comes up and it will ask me to add media files from my computer. I click Select Files to choose files to upload. And I'm going to go to my desktop to find my folder in which the picture is stored. Here it is in the picture search folder on my desktop and this is the image that I want to upload. So I double click it and you'll see that it is crunching. There's the image. It's now in my media library. Let's just uh, give it a proper title Holy Spirit when you hover over the uh, picture on the site that is what will come up now here are some important points to note this is the link URL this is the URL the address on the web where this image is going to be stored and you'll see that it is in the Carver WordPress content uploads 2009 May um, folder and it is called holy.jpg JPEG remember JPEG format now here's a really interesting um, feature of WordPress 2.7.1 I can display this uh, same image in a number of sizes automatically created for me. I can select a thumbnail and it will be a small square 150 by 150 pixels, medium 300 by 300, full size 600 by 600. I'm going to choose the medium size because that's going to fit best into my post and all I do is click insert into post and there it is in the post. Let me click on the uh, full screen and there's the post. Now another feature of 2.7.1 is this really useful preview button. By clicking on the preview button I can see what the post is going to look like on the web itself. You'll see that a new tab is opened and here it is. This is what the post will look like. I haven't saved it, I haven't published it, but I know what the finished product is going to look like. Let's go back to the site a moment. There are more things that I can do with this image. 
if I click on it, I get this little box here, the edit image. Clicking on it takes me back to the media library and I can do a number of things with it. One of the things I can do using the advanced settings menu is to put a frame around it. Here's where it says border and I'm going to put two in here which means I want a frame around the photo which is two pixels wide. I then go down to update and you can see my image now has got a frame around it. Another thing that I can do is to give the picture a title that shows underneath it. Edit image title, Holy Spirit. The image title is what you will see if you hover your mouse over the picture. Edit image caption gives it a caption. So let's give this image a caption that will appear under it on the on the post. There we are, I've given it the title Prayer for the Holy Spirit. Scroll down, click update, and now if you look on the site there is the uh, image with the caption showing. Let's, let's click preview again and we'll see how it looks now. There we are, that's what the image will look like on the site when it's live. Let me show you one last thing here. Let's say that we want the text. At the moment the text is at the bottom of the picture. Let's say we want the text to appear to the right of the image click on this button here and it places the image to the left of the text. Again, we go down, click update and look at the changes. Now the text is alongside the picture. Again, we click on preview and we'll see the changes that we've made with our editing of the image. Here we are with the text above it. The more text that we add, the text will flow down the right hand side of the picture and then to the full width of the post uh, as you would expect as per normal. So using the edit function enables us to place the text and the, uh, and the image in different relationships to each other. We could have the picture in the center of the post. If we have it to the right, the text will appear on the left. I'm going to leave it at none at this point. None means that it is automatically aligned and the text appears below. One last thing before I would publish this post. I have got to give it a category and in this case there isn't a category that exists so I'm going to create a new one called news. I add that category there it is, it's checked I click publish and my post will be published to the site. That's how to insert an image into a post and how to edit it.